Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thanks for being here. If you are new, I am Ashley and I am a homeschooling mom. I have seven kids ranging from 11 down to four months um, on this channel. I like to do pretty much anything with homeschool related, large family life, um, kind of give you an insight on what it's like to have a lot of kids. We do travel as much as we can, um, road trip. My kids have never been on a plane, so anything that I post here as of right now, travel related will be all road trip information, road trip um, hacks, things like that. So glad you're here. Um, I wanted to do another curriculum video. So I have done sixth grade and I have done third grade. And these are the grades that my kids are currently in now. So these are not the grades that they'll be going into. However, I will have, um, I'm gonna do a kindergarten one today, but I will have a, a pre-K child going in as a kindergartner this coming year. So I hadn't done kindergarten yet. Um, kindergarten for us has been kind of a trial and error. So um, this child that's in kindergarten right now, she did her first part of pre-K at a um, private preschool. She did that the first part and then COVID hit and um, we stayed at home. So from the second part of last year till now, um, we have been doing here so it was kind of hard to kind of fill in those gaps um, from what she had learned and then kind of pick up um, and finish off her preschool year last year um, so this year we knew that I knew that she knew letters numbers recognition things like that. Quite a bit she learned at preschool and then um, a lot she had to learn the second part, you know, second half of the year here at home. So going in, we knew that, but we did not know how to read. And I have never taught a child how to read here at home. <laughs> They've always learned at preschool. So um, this was new territory for me. We started with a few different things. Um, we started with, as far as reading goes, I tried to see, kind of feel out how she, how much she could really do as far as reading goes based on what she learned last year. Um, and I have found, I found from a friend, um, the all about reading curriculum. And that has been a game changer for us as far as reading and progressing in her reading skills. So um, they have the pre-K level, but she did not start there. She started strictly at the kindergarten level. So this is what we do for language arts reading. Um, now we have this as the like official open and go curriculum, but we do reading on the side. So um, I'll show, I'll, I'll go over that in a second, but I wanna go over kind of what we do first for the language arts slash reading. So all about reading, level one is what she is doing now. This comes with the teacher manual um, and it tells you day by day what to do. Okay, so it gives you, let me get to an exact lesson here. It gives you, there we go, I'll just hit lesson nine. Gives you, tells you exactly what you'll be working on, um, gives you the lesson what to say, what to do, what items you will need. Um, so it comes with um, a box that, um, and I could do that in a separate like flip through video if you wanted me to, but it comes with a box that has all of the um, cards on it with the words and things like that that you'll go over. Um, this is their activity book. So within the teacher's manual, it'll have the activity book and it has basically anything that they will do or cut out of here, um, any of the activities that they ask you to do, and the sentence or word practice sheets they have in here also. I am kind of, um, I don't always, so there's like two parts to this, to this page. This has like the words, and then it has the phrases, and then it has the full sentences here. Um, personally, I will go and just have her read the sentences. If she can read the sentences fine, then I will not, after I've done the lesson, then I will not necessarily do this page as well. And they kind of tell you that too in the book, like 
you know, if they if they have a hard time sitting down and being in one spot, this is a lot of reading to sit and do in one sitting. So even if you split it up, you could say, okay, we'll do this other part. You know, we'll do this other page later. Let's just do this one, you know, the back page first or the front page first of going over the words um, because you want them to have practice. But if they can already read the sentences and those, the words that you're going over in the first page are included in the sentences here and they know how to do it, then it's kind of, it's kind of extra work. Um, so the activity book comes with it and it has everything that you'll need that it'll ask you to do and um, within the, each lesson. It comes with a few readers, it'll hardcover, color, um, a bunch of different stories mixed in here. And so um, it'll tell you when to read the book. It literally tells you what to do day by day. They also, it also comes with the letter tiles and I'm gonna kind of take these out. It's not a reflection, but um, it comes with the letter tiles. That's probably gonna be really loud on camera. <laughs> letter tiles and um, you know, letters that are put together also, the TH, the AW. Um, EY, the vowels are in red, so they can recognize the consonants and the vowels. Um, a, a friend of mine that does this, does this on um, the computer. You can do opt for the, um, the like on the app. Um, I chose to do it this way just because we don't have a tablet that everybody, a working tablet that everybody can, can, um, can do this on. So I went ahead and just opted for these tiles. They tell you that you can put them like a magnet, which I do have a magnet on the back and, and have everything on a bullet, I mean, on a whiteboard and actually, um, you know, have them do the words, put the words together um, on the board, but they would get lost everywhere. So I just keep them in a baggie and we sit down and I put the letter tiles out in front of her. It has been great. It comes with a progress sheet and each after each lesson, she puts a sticker and you can track your progress. Um, <clears throat> it's been great. She has really um, done well with reading and all about reading. So I'm going to continue that. I'm not a huge fan of the pre-K one um, just because it has, I, I think I can incorporate the pre-K into um, other things that I'm kind of picking and choosing to put together, like for letters of the week and stuff. But um, this one has done very well for her. So I am, I am very pleased with the All About Reading curriculum. Um, we also do, I also get like books that are her level, princess books like the boxed um, readers that are her level that she can read. So she enjoys doing those. Pick, you know, they have so many box sets of, of level one or level two readers, or even before that, just letters. Um, get those that the kids really like, um, you know, characters that the kids like, because it helps a lot with um, keeping them engaged and keeping them just interested in reading and wanting to learn to read those stories, especially if they have, if they have older siblings that, um, that read a lot. So that is what we do for um, language arts reading. Um, I do uh, the Good and the Beautiful handwriting, if y'all have watched either my third or my, or my sixth grade one, video, um, you'll know that we do use this for language arts for um, my older kids. And um, the handwriting has been good. I've kind of been lax about it, actually, um, because we do a lot of it. Um, she does a lot of it elsewhere. She'll write. She writes a lot. She tries to write a lot. And so um, she gets a lot of handwriting practice in, but just kind of to show you you know, they have the different levels of the handwriting and all my kids do the good and the beautiful handwriting and I've liked that. Um, so they will also have you, you know, write letters, trace letters, and some will have the little picture there. They'll have you draw a picture or whatnot. Um, just easy, simple lessons. It will not take you all year to do this, um, half a year at most, but I've just kind of been back and forth about it. Just like not, not as diligent about it as I probably should. Um, so, that's what we use though officially for handwriting. Um, math, we started with Horizons and if you've watched my other two videos, curriculum videos, you will know that um, we liked Horizons. We did start both of my other kids in Horizons and decided to switch them because um, it just wasn't, um, I guess they didn't have 
I don't want to say inter it wasn't as entertaining. That's not the word I'm looking for. I'm trying to figure out the right word for math to be fun. Um, but I, I found that it was hard to keep their attention with the horizons. So I went ahead and tried and I switched, um, after a couple months, I switched math curriculums for her, for kinder. And this has been great. She has done very, very well with this. Um, and we just finished this, the first book today. This comes in two course books. This is also um, The Good and the Beautiful, The Kindergarten. And she has done great with this. Um, so kind of in a nutshell, and I won't do a, like a flip through, but I'll just show you a lesson. Um, they have usually stories that go with it. So you can, you know, read the story with each lesson. They have the daily dose, which sometimes I do that occasionally, just kind of like a little extra practice each day, either before or after the lesson. Um, they have, you know, tracing to learn how, if they don't already know how. Some of this she already knew, um, being that she already did, they the pre-K that they go to or went to um, is, pretty good with it, with them learning their numbers and their letters pretty quickly. So um, some of this we did, a couple of things we did skip, but for the most part, um, she has done, um, she has done this and she has done great with it. Um, so I'm trying to find where it's not all messy where you can kind of see. They have coloring and it just kind of incorporates games into, um, into the curriculum. Um, you know, the addition and learning, you know, just simple math, things like that. Um, it does come with a box like the other curriculums, the other levels uh, come with. However, I mentioned this in my other videos that they will be changing it this year to make it, it's, I forget the name again, but it's um, basically a simpler, more condensed math curriculum. So I'm not sure if they're going to have this box um, with the new with the new additions, but this is what you would use for um, kindergarten, and it basically has the little it has the little you know cubes. It has manipulatives that go along with the story. It has um, patterns that they can use um, with the pattern blocks, and just all kinds of different stuff in here. And um, she has really liked it. She has liked the um, all the activities that it comes with, and um, along with along with these, because um, kindergarten can kind of be, you know, it's kind of a, I feel like a kid by kid basis. So as far as how much they want to do, you know, if, if your kid really likes math, um, you can get all the workbooks. We do. Um, quite a bit of workbooks also. I mean, I'll go on Amazon. I have a stack of workbooks. Amazon, um, the dollar store even, uh, Scholastic. I mean, just a whole bunch of workbooks that I have for, and I have a stack for pre-K, kindergarten, um, and even my two-year-old. And they can kind of pick and choose because also you wanna make sure that they're doing those fine motor skills like the cutting and the pasting and things like that, tracing. Um, and so those have worked well for both my kids. So I will get a stack and we will, whatever we need to work on, we can pick out a book. So it's not just the same curriculum every day for the youngest kids, of course. Um, and that has helped to kind of mix things up a little bit and kind of keep them engaged and want to do things when you don't do the same thing every day with these little kids. Um, so being able to go and pick a workbook and pick an activity and have a variety of things to do that all relate to the same um, subject, you know, addition, subtraction, but doing different things to add, subtract. Um, you know, today we did a store, they played in the math curriculum, they had them do a store and that's how she added her pennies. Um, to go and buy things. So it was, um, you know, having that variety of things really helps and um, helps to keep them just not bored of the same thing every day. Um, even though, you know, at this age, they having something to, to be consistent with is good. So having these curriculums, your specific math and your specific language arts or reading, but also throwing things in there. And she will also do things that her younger brothers do too. So my pre-care and my two-year-old will, you know, 
color or you know color sheets or letters of the week or whatnot and she will jump in she will also sometimes do things that my older kids do so allow the kid you know your kids to if they want to be included in something that either the younger grades or the older grades are doing let them do that because that just kind of helps um you know helps things helps to mix things up a little bit throughout the day so that is kindergarten it's pretty simple it's not you know, there's not five different things that we're doing. We're not doing vocabulary yet. Um, we're not doing spelling yet. Social studies, I I, um, I was gonna have her sit in on the history that we had started um, doing with the good and the beautiful, but she's she would her she would not be interested in that at this point, and that's fine. Um, and probably next year we will go more into um, social studies and and you know. Um, different lessons like that. So um, I will be doing, again, a first grade curriculum. I have not had a first grade or homeschooled yet. So this will be interesting, um, but I'm interested to see how it will go. And what I end up picking, I will do a video um, once I gather all my curriculum and order that and whatnot. So anyway, I hope this helps with kindergarten curriculum and um, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.